Hello and welcome to part two of this humbucker building series. If you have not seen part one, check the description, the link will be there to see part one because without seeing part one this isn't really going to make a whole lot of sense to you. So in part two I have the second prototype in here in the bridge again. Um, looks identical but I promise it isn't a new pickup. Um, what I've done with it, as I said in the last video, is I've wound it a lot hotter no, actually it wasn't any hotter, it was the same number of wines, but with a different wire gauge. Uh, I reduced it from 45 AWG to 43, which meant that the, the wines are a lot closer to the edge of the bobbin, which sitting sideways means it's closer to the top. So, what that's done is it has vastly improved the output to the point where I think it's not quite there, but it's very close. Now, I'm not sure it's going to come across on YouTube that it is so close, but from very clean parts, definitely the clean parts, I've, you might be able to hear a slight volume difference. So this is still slightly too weak, but it's very close. So the next prototype is going to be wound slightly hotter, which is definitely still room on it for a few more wines to get on there. So I reckon I can get a, a good match with this wire gauge. Uh, the other thing I was trying to achieve with it is the treble, which if we... You turn the two pickups on. Now I can show you. That's the neck, and you can immediately tell that's a whole lot more treble than there was before. So gold achieved with that. Um, other than that, I think I'll just play and let the sounds do the speaking for themselves. Play exactly the same stuff uh, again. Unfortunately, I don't have the same amp as the the amp that I used for the first video is out of action. So today I've got Bugera Trirec and a standard 212 cabinet. And uh, I'm going to be comparing everything to the neck again, so hopefully you can use that as a benchmark. Starting on some clean stuff with the bridge first. And then neck. And same again with a different riff. It's subtle there, but there is a slight volume difference, which I don't, I don't know if YouTube's going to compress it and it's unnoticeable, but definitely in the room you can hear a slight difference. It is close though. It's For a second prototype, I'm very happy with how close it's gone. But it does need a few final tweaks until it's there. And then the most important thing with this design is distortion. under distortion really well, which was the number one goal with this pickup type. And yeah, so far so good, just final tweaks and then I think this will make a really good production pickup. And then on to the really big chord stuff, so this is the real test of clarity.
And there you have it, that is the second prototype. Big steps in the right direction, still a little bit more to go. Wasn't expecting to get it dead right on the second prototype, I don't think that's ever happened. But very pleased with how this one has turned out, considering where I am with the design. Uh, next is going to be overwound slightly more and I think at this stage that's probably the only change that I want to do. Hopefully if I overwind it, and wind it a bit more to the point where I get the output right then I can start tweaking the tone of it. Because I think getting the output right is, is probably the most important thing at this stage. And then after the output right is right and the tone is sort of in the region then we start looking at creating a, a neck pickup to go with it of the same sort of design. Uh, at which point then it is the fine, the fine tuning of uh, the tones to make the tones sit together nicely. Uh, until then, thank you for watching and like, subscribe, all that stuff on the video.